Let's begin our detailed study of the Commodore's structure by examining the head. The head should be of good size and in proportion to the rest of the dog. Even with the heavy coat, you can see that this dog's head is too small for the size of the body. The head looks somewhat short in comparison to the seemingly wide forehead, with the muzzle somewhat shorter than the skull. The top line of the muzzle is straight and nearly parallel to the top line of the skull. The muzzle is wide and coarse, not pointed or snipey. Under the coat, the skull is broad and powerful. It is somewhat arched from the side with good development of the brows. The stop should be moderately well developed. Remember, it is always necessary to feel the shape of the skull with your hands. This dog appears to have a good broad skull. This skull is too flat. There is insufficient development of the brows. This muzzle is powerful and blunt, but is too long in comparison to the overall length of the head. This dog's head is correct. The muzzle from tip of nose to stop is shorter than the skull from stop to occiput, and the planes are parallel. The nose is black with wide nostrils. A dark gray or dark brown nose is acceptable, but not desirable. A flesh-colored nose is a disqualification. This nose is poorly pigmented, but is not a disqualification. Judges are unlikely to encounter the true flesh-colored nose that is a disqualification. This dog has a good black nose and the correct tight, dark lips. This dog's lips are too loose. And this dog's lips are poorly pigmented. The teeth should be large, white, and fit together in a scissors bite, but a level bite is acceptable. Judges should check for full dentition. Many dogs are missing teeth, especially premolars, as this one is. Missing teeth is a serious fault. This distinctly undershot bite is also a serious fault, as is a distinctly overshot bite. In older dogs, the central lower incisors are sometimes slightly out of line and worn down like this. It is not ideal. This dog has a correct scissors bite. Commodore ears should be V-shaped and hanging. Erect ears, or those that move toward an erect position, are faulty. Ears are large, moderately long, and should not fold back. They are set rather far back on the head, slightly above the level of the eye. This dog's ears are of good size and are correctly placed. The eyes are medium-sized and almond-shaped, but should not be too deeply set. The edges of the eyelids are gray. The iris of the eye is dark brown. Light color is not desirable. Blue-white eyes are a disqualification. These eyes are of good shape and are well placed, but are too light. These eyes are correct for the breed. They are very dark, well shaped, and have good dark rims.